in back the fuck off news. Ooh. Back the fuck off, motherfucker. Yo, those glasses are hella funny. Are those the Thug Life glasses? I am the one, the one, the dumb, bun dumb. I am the what? So you gotta, I gotta say some <laughs> profound ass shit. You need like a fake joint. <laughs> Submitted by Bring Back the Uncos. Oh my goodness, that's the clip. I miss them. The I miss them too. You guys too. ever see yourselves bringing them back? Possibly. You never know. Furious supermodel Gigi Hadid lashes out at a prankster and elbows him in the face. Oh, oh shit. Wait, this girl sounds gorge. familiar. Who is She's this? Gorge. She's gorgeous. She familiar. elbows him? She's like the most popular supermodel right now. The most popular? She's like. The Victoria's Secret, so they're like, I don't um, know. Can I see a she's picture? Not, she's high end. For research purposes. Purpose. They found her through Instagram, right? Yeah. Gigi Gorgeous? Yeah, that's how she, she No, no, no. Oh, I was like, Gigi Gorgeous. Except I know Cara yeah. Delevingne. I think they oh, found okay. her as well on Instagram, right? So this God damn, she is fine. Gigi. I like Google. those sunglasses. Maybe Googly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Googly. <laughs> Google. Maybe can you Google it? Okay, so she's a supermodel. Yes. And then she elbowed a prankster in the face? Yes. Good. Tell me what happened. Tell me why. You know what? I like when models look confused. <laughs> <laughs> you know that that look? That that like It's supposed oh, to present a more where am human I? element. Is I it? don't know where I'm at. Oh yeah, they do <laughs> Yeah, they, they do the confused look, yeah. Like what? I don't know how I got here. How, how come sand is in my butt crack? Or like when no, they're they doing the runway, they're just looking straight and then their face is like, I don't know where I'm at today. <laughs> <laughs> it's blue steel right there. So I actually have a video of this, but just Ooh. just the context. Okay, just the context. Um, she was in Milan for fashion week and she was leaving a Max Mara show earlier that day that she took part in and she was just walking out and leaving, so. You know people say you look blind when you wear that shit, but in my opinion, it just looks like gangsta, west coast, but extreme. A lot of girls like wearing them big because then it makes their face look really cute. Oh. So then you so, AKA hides your face. Exactly. You have to make sure if you're gonna if you're gonna hit on a girl, make sure she takes off her glasses so you can see what you're working with. Also with guys, when they wear hats, they look way more attractive. But then make sure to take that shit off and then you'll see that they have like a 10 head. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who the are you? Oh. She's badass. That's and she just was like, what the fuck? And she started elbowing him. Like, Who the fuck are you? I have a video. If you want his face, I have a video. Who gives a fuck about the video? Go beat the fuck out of him. What's that guy's name? She said, can we go find that guy? Yeah. So he was like, oh, I have the video showing his face. No, because it sounded like, oh, I did my job. I have a video. We can press churches. I'm too lazy to go find them right now. That's what it sounds like. Probably. I mean. He's so someone just creeped up behind her and picked her up. Yeah. So he's he's actually a prankster that actually. Pulled so what's up. the where's the prank? Have you it's seen a prank? A prank? Have you seen a prank? Please? When they saw this incident happen, they're like. How is this a prank? Like you—that's not even—that's not even clever. Potentially, like trying to assault somebody, like yeah. just by lifting them up and like yeah. taking them from surprise. Like that's not even a prank that's at all. That's just violation. Exactly. That's not a prank. That prankster's name is Vitaly Siduk. But that guy just recently did uh, something similar to Kim Kardashian. Well, not something similar, but he just. Uh, so he was trying to kiss her ass as she walked past. <laughs> oh so he was trying, he like jumped towards her to kiss her butt, but then her bodyguard came and like tackled him down so he didn't even touch her. But the same guy, days after he did How that. How the fuck is he getting through to all these things? <laughs> and he's traveling the world to do this? Or he's yeah, from because, Europe? Yeah, uh, I don't know if he's from Europe, but the one, the Kim Kardashian thing was in Paris. Yeah, what I the mean, freak? I mean, he's known to be a serial prankster because back in 2004, he broke onto the red carpet on the Hollywood premiere of Angela Jolie's film, uh, Melissa Fit. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a prankster, he's just someone that's doing crazy, st like, just desperate for attention. Desperate attention stunts. There's no clever, like, Cause I don't see the point of what he's doing, you yeah. know? Yeah. It's not like, hey, check this out, this is a social experiment, or look, I can bypass the White House security, uh, you guys gotta, you know, fix this. There's like, there's, there's no purpose or intent to what he's doing. It's just like, you see this piece of shit? Well, I'm gonna eat it. 
That's like what was Even that has purpose. Yeah. True. No, I think his intent is just he wants to make a headline and because he has He just wants already. fame. So he's just desperate for he's attention. Doing it. Yeah. He's continuing to do it. He's like, watch me fucking squeeze Denzel Washington in the butt. All right, red carpet event. It's so good that she fucking elbowed him in the face. She got him good. I need to learn how to prevent from having kids like him. <laughs> yeah, how does that Like, happen? if I have a kid and he starts doing attention. I'm gonna beat the fuck out of them. I'm like, stop grabbing your fucking teacher's titty right now. Why are you trying to suck the principal's dick? This is not funny. Don't do that. So Who's that's that? his thing, he likes to put his face in their crotch? Um, one of the things, and another thing is just like, I guess to surprise people, so just like how he did, like, surprise Gigi by like- Oh my god, you surprised the wrong person? Exactly, and initially, like, a lot of people are bashing on the bodyguards, like, dude, how, how, like, there are bodyguards around these two. How did this guy get past through these bodyguards? And initially, the bodyguards thought that, oh, maybe like a friend of theirs or like a very familiar face. That's a dumb bodyguard. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is dumb. But the thing is that like they picked them up and then the way they saw like her react and like, oh, this is bad. And like he quickly, he puts her down, runs away. And you know how you guys saw her like she was trying to chase that dude? Yeah. Like, you know, the arm that grabbed her behind, that was her bodyguard. And they're like, it's better if you just stay behind. And like a lot of people. It makes her look bad. Yeah, yeah. so a lot of people. I thought she was badass. She yeah. was. Yeah. No, but but good. just overall, like outside of our circle, she shouldn't touch him at all. That's the exact kind of thing that lets people like him. Yeah. I know, I know, but yeah. by by paper, by law, because all the things that can happen after that. So like, let's say we become even more famous, or we do a movie, we do a red carpet event, right? Yeah, and then some fucker comes up to us and we want to handle them. We get, we might get public support, but at the same time, that's so many other lawsuits, so many other things that can happen from that. And, you know, if, if she has sponsors or anything like that can pull from her, all that shit can, can change. It just sucks. It, it's, it's, it sucks, but she should let her bodyguards handle it. Because I feel like she was just reacting. You know, because like he picked her up at that point, I feel like she had every right to do whatever she did, even legally, because it's like she doesn't know what his intents were. Like you pick someone up, now it's like, oh fuck, I'm I'm. That like should immobile. be self defense. Like I'm immobile yeah. now. Like you're restraining me from moving because he's holding her. So she just was trying to fight out of it. So legally, I still feel like she's she's in the clear. No, no, no. I'm talking about chasing after. Oh, them. after them. Yeah, yeah. And depends on how severely you, you know the. <laughs> The thing is, it has to balance out. So if someone picks you up, you can't turn around and blast them 10 times. It depends on the setting though. Are you, you know, all, are you are you gonna be the president? Or like, you know, it depends. It really depends. Like, it, it's like, are you in California? <laughs> I think the best thing is to have your bodyguard kidnap him and then just deal with them in privacy. <laughs> Pretty much. That is the best. Cause this kind of reminds me of, uh, did you guys see the Will Smith on the red carpet? There was like a journalist that, was gonna talk to him, and then he ends up going in for a kiss, yeah. and then Will Smith backs up and slaps him in the face, yeah. and he goes, don't do that. But he said it in a very charming way. Yeah. Don't do that. And then he was almost like, what's wrong with you? It was, yeah. pretty, it was pretty dope. Yeah. Were they trying to prank him? Yeah. Uh -huh. I really liked it because this is kind of like, given the type of PR that most models have, they're like dainty, weak, it's easy to take advantage. I like it that she turned around and she was really tough on him. Really strong. Unless yeah. you're Naomi Campbell, then you're already known as a fucking abusive person. Who's Naomi Campbell? Another super, like a, a huge supermodel. Person. I know who she is, but like, what's what's her reputation? Uh, that she's just really rude to people. She gets really aggressive. Oh. She was the one that said she wouldn't get out of bed for like less than ten thousand dollars or something. Was that her? I'm not oh sure. shit! That's pretty. Boss. But she's that sounds like. But have you laid in her bed though? It might be really comfortable. <laughs> Possibly. You never Pay me ten thousand. I don't. I don't like those. Pranksters that like do things at people's like inconvenience, other yeah. people's costs, right? Yeah. Especially if you're, they don't have like a working relationship with that person. Especially yeah. if you don't have a working relationship, and also if you're a nobody. I think one of the reasons why people like punked is Ashton Kutcher is somebody, yeah. and he's a friend of theirs. He's a friend yeah. of theirs. Yeah. So when he goes and if if he did the exact same thing and picked her up, you turn around like, oh shit, it's Ashton, you fucking little. Scumbag you fucking around all the time. It's different versus like who the fuck is this fucking nobody stranger just coming out of nowhere Sniffing my asshole, and you know, he's just desperate for fame. Yeah. So he's Super. just doing stupid shit to get attention What's up beautiful people make sure to let us know how much you love us by never missing an upload and subscribing Yep, that's how subscriptions work once you subscribe you never get a day where you don't know when we upload 
Also, for more videos, please click right below me. No, see? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. God damn it. Get fucking serious. <laughs> Can't take my fucking mug. Fucking <laughs> shit. Shit, you almost missed the TV. My zipper got stuck. Okay. You have zipper on your shoes? Yeah, I have boots.